Hey guys, what's good? You welcome back to my channel. My name is Narichi and this is the Nanya Richie Show with my scattered hair. Well, today I'm going to be doing something about my hair. Basically, I've not been posting natural hair videos, which I should be doing. I mean, why did I even keep this hair? Look at all this gorgeous hair and then I don't do natural hair videos. Well, either way, so today I'll be trying chebe for the first time. Chebe and kaka oil. You got the right kaka oil, right? Well, I'll be needing the help of my friend Avi, who's gonna be doing mostly like the, the biggest part of the whole thing. So yeah, with so much ado, let's get right into this video. Before that, this is my chebe powder, and um, this is my kaka oil. So I'll be using the boat for my hair and. Um, I'll be sure you guys the process though. So let's go. She feel my mind with ideas. I'm not as in the room. Today I'm going to be trying chebe and kaka oil for the first time. So I'm going to be showing you guys a very easy way to use chebe powder and kaka oil in such a way that it doesn't smell. And you can actually wear this in your hair to work guys, especially if you work a 9 to 5 job. So the things you're going to need for this are a pot. I have a bowl to filter my chebe water into and then I have a spoon here and then yeah. I have my bottle to put the finished water into. So. I'm going to be using that as my spray bottle and so I have my funnel for putting the water into the bottle this is what my funnel looks like and then I have my cloth for filtering the entire mixture so without further ado I'm going to proceed into this video okay guys so I have my water here and it's boiled besides it's me on the voiceover so our water is boiled I'm going to go ahead and mix my chipper powder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two tablespoons of chebe powder into the boiling water and guys you want to make sure that your water is completely boiled so that it infuses absolutely well. I just want to quickly say that this chebe powder infuses really really well and it actually is very very potent. So two tablespoons is going to give me a very very thick I don't know what to call it, but it will be very, very potent, Sha. So you don't need to add too much. So basically, she's doing this for the first time. So I'm watching as per while I'm teaching you guys. <laughs> so, so we're just going to let this sit for a couple of minutes until it cools down, maybe till it warm or lukewarm, okay. and then we'll be back to sift it out. Okay, guys. So our chebe is cooled now. And I'm going to go ahead and filter all of this. I'm just rolling it around so that it goes to one side so we don't have chebe all over the pot. So this is what it's looking like. Guys, you can use a handkerchief or a cheesecloth to filter this, but this is what we have. So it will help the particles to pass through even better. Okay guys, so this is how much water we have. Guys, you want to actually make sure your bottle has space because you're going to add oil here. So we are going to add oil and then it will make up for like half of this space. So that's what we're going to do now. So I have my kaka oil here. Just shake it up because it usually has particles at the bottom. So I'm just going to shake it up. By the way guys, let me quickly say that chebe powder is most commonly used by women from Chad is also very popularly known as a hair growth product so they apply this in their hair as the powdered form they mix it with this kaka oil kaka oil is from Sudan while chebe powder is from Chad so they mix the two of them together and apply it to their hair and they have really really long hair guys their hair is so long so healthy so I'm just going to add this. So we are hoping that by the time we finish using all of this, well, Nanya is hoping <laughs> that her hair will be like long, like the chair down in this one. But then you also have to use it consistently. So 
you can measure this if you want so i'm just going to put a certain quantity into the oil not up to half of the bottle though just a little and then i'm also going to add some goya cold pressed olive oil to the mixture you don't have to add olive oil but i'm choosing to because it's one of the oils that i use for moisturizing hair and then shake it forward so this is what the finished product looks like so look at how easy it was to make that we're done with this so we're going to proceed to apply it to her hair and um i wouldn't be doing this myself Eva is going to help me out i think this is one of the reasons i can't do natural hair videos because <laughs> i just can't do Eva literally finished this video herself i mean on my channel she just finished everything but then i mean what can we do <laughs> So I'm just going to moisturize my hair a little before I start applying the thing. So you start by sessioning your hair, then you get to spray the chebe um and the oil and then braid it. So guys you go ahead and spray it to the section part of the hair. So these are the particles of the cream and the water. fine so guys I'm done with the braiding and remember what I said that because I'm wearing my wig I have to put it all back so that I could comfortably wear my wig so this is my first time using applying chebe powder and kaka oil and um, I'm gonna come back why is even in my video <laughs> I'm gonna come back later to know if there is an improvement and if there's an improvement i'm going to let you guys know okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned um, a few things on how to mix um the chepper powder and the cacao oil with the water so it's like come your way next time